Welcome to another edition of SoCal Sense. I am Jeff. It is week seven of the vlogs. This is everything I had to do with fragrances this week. There'll be first impressions, hot takes, anytime I put something on, go to the store, et cetera, et cetera. This is vlog number seven. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys have been wearing this week and interact with this so I know you guys still want me to keep on doing these vlogs. Uh, but yeah, here's week seven of the vlog. It's Monday night, I just finished teaching, and tonight I'm wearing, um, what am I wearing? Rouse Club Parfum. At the end of Monday, I wore Rouse Club Parfum tonight. I didn't wear anything during the day. Uh, kind of a lazy day for me, so Rouse Club Parfum was my only fragrance of the day, and it smells, it smells really, really nice. It's Tuesday in Los Angeles, it's a beautiful day, I'm going for a walk. There is the Walt Disney Company. It's a little better angle. That's where all the offices, the movie studio, the animation studio is at. That's where they do all their business. It's headquarters of Disney. Uh, but yeah, uh, my fragrance of the day, I forgot to even talk about that, is Suspiro Vibrato. It's great, I smell nice, and yeah. It is Wednesday. It's a beautiful day. I'm going for a walk down in Los Angeles, and I'm wearing H24. I haven't worn it in a year. You pretty much have only worn it like once or twice a year since I've gotten it. Um, yeah, cucumber Gatorade, green banana, pretty much what you get from H24. And we're in the EDT, uh, but yeah, Wednesday, nice day, and H24. Today is Wednesday. We're live on YouTube, and we are talking about the vlog right now. So yeah, make sure you tune into the lives every week and. Every new, every Monday there's a new vlog, and it's because you guys are currently watching the vlog. Fragrance of the night is Pacific Chill. If you turn into my live, we talked about how I was gonna wear this tonight, and I'm gonna wear this tonight. So Pacific Chill is currently my fragrance of the night. I'm about to go teach class and smell really, really good while doing it. This is my, probably my favorite Louis Vuitton, tied, maybe tied with Afternoon Swim, but I love this one. Fragrance hot take, Le Beau Le Parfum smells actively bad. I think it is a terrible, terrible, terrible fragrance. It smells really dirty and earthy and not in any kind of good way. Now, Le Beau Le Parfum is a European exclusive, so if you live in the United States, you'll never be able to sample it unless you just go ahead and buy it. If you live in Europe, you can try it wherever you want. Le Beau, I don't personally like myself because I don't like coconut fragrances, but Le Beau Le Parfum to me smells actively bad. And I do not understand why people hy are hyping it like crazy on TikTok because it's really only hyped on TikTok. It's not really hyped anywhere else. Um, but I will make a suggestion for you. If you're looking for something in the same price range that smells good and will actually get you great compliments from the ladies, check out Le Mal Eau Fresh. This is the Andre edition. It's been discontinued now for about two, two and a half years, but this one smells really, really go good, while Le Beau Le Parfum doesn't. I am at Macy's right now, seeing if they have any new stuff. They didn't have any new stuff, um, but they do have a really cool Big Guy Phantom bottle. That'd actually be fun to have on the shelf. But yeah, nothing nothing really new. I am sprayed on two fragrances. I sprayed on Y Elixir and then Summer Vibes. I really like Summer Vibes. I need to pick up a bottle of this before it goes away. Um, Heading to Bloomingdale's and Sephora next. We'll see what's there. Sephora testing out the female version of Green Extravaganza, and it smells much nicer than the men's ones does. So shout out, ladies, you got the much better fragrance with this one. Bloomingdale's, and I'm testing out Roja's Oceania. Um, I have smelled this one before. I decided to spray it on, wear it on my wrist. Uh, this one's great. It smells like Sprite to me, like real Sprite. Um, Super clean, super fresh. This one's not talked about enough, but it's it's a really good summer summer fragrance. So decided to spray this one on. So currently I'm wearing uh, Light Blue Summer Vibes, Y Elixir, Oceania, and Tiger on me. And that's all the ones I'm gonna spray today. But yeah, they're all super nice. So make sure you check out uh, Raja Perfumes Oceania. All right, tested all the Montals. So far, Starry Nights was enjoyable for me. Uh, Intense Cafe was also enjoyable for me. Daydreams smell nice, more for a girl fragrance. Um, Lucky Candy smelled terrible. Food Amazing wasn't super into. Arabian Tonka, which is the TikTok type fragrance, um, it's whatever. I don't really particularly enjoy that one. And then the one that I actually dug first, it is Infinity. 
on first impression just because it was the most different and it was so unique. Uh, but yeah, right. Right. this used to be the hype of Bloomingdale's because it was a Bloomingdale's exclusive. This is the Confessions of a Rebel line. They're buried in a corner now. I had to actually search out and look for these because I could not find them anywhere. Um, I featured them quite a few times on the channel, but I don't think I'll feature them again just because no one's literally ever asked for me outside the times we featured them. We have the Deptique fragrances. I have all of them. I've tried all of them. Um, none of them sparked instant joy for me. Uh, I remember I liked that one back when I tried it back in the day, but none of them were like, oh, I need to own these. But yeah, every single Bond number nine, the mainstream collection is here. I have done a full video of Bond number nines and I featured quite a few of them. But let me know if there's any one in particular you want me to try that hasn't featured yet. No. Probably won't ever do any from the gold collection, just the main line. Just sprayed on Tiger onto my wrist. They have all the private collection from Bulgari here. Let me know if there's any that you want to be featured on the channel. I probably am going to feature Tiger eventually. But if there's any others you're like, oh that one's great, let me know. Testing out the Bow Fragrances. It's a line I've never heard of before. Um, no one's ever mentioned it or anything. It's brand new to Bloomingdale's. Um, this is El Sereno and it smells like just like a fresh watering cucumber. Uh, this is my favorite of the line. I did try all the others. I didn't really like the others, but this one is definitely the most pleasing. It really just smells like a watery, fresh cucumber. Um, nice stuff. I'm going to spray it on on my elbow, so I'm going to take my jacket off so I can get one more spray in. Leaving the mall, and look how beautiful it is outside. I decided I wanted to try something different, and I took Y Elixir and layered it with both Summer Vibes and Light Blue Intense to see how that worked. And the crazy thing is, is it basically just smells like Y Elixir. It overpowers both of those two fragrances. At another Bloomingdale's, they have the Gucci Private Blend, the Alchemist Garden. Uh, this is Tears of the Moon. It deserves way more hype. It smells really, really good. Uh, here's the entire collection. Um, the other one I'm testing out right now was Where My Heart Is, or Where My Heart Beats, which is this guy. This one smells really, really nice. And the other one I'm testing out is the Eyes of the Tiger. I have actually most of these in sample form. Eye of the Tiger is not my favorite compared to the other two, but Tears from the Moon deserves way more hype than what it gets. In fact, I don't think it gets any hype. So putting on to the Gucci Private Blend. All right, spotted in the wild gold blend, but they didn't have anything but the tester. Vanilla Sex, Vanilla Fatal. If you're gonna get one of these, skip this one and get this one. This one smells significantly better than this one. So new Tom Ford Vanilla Fatal, significant upgrade to Vanilla Sex. So my Bloomingdale's has the Harmonist collection. I do have a sample of pretty much every single one of these. There hasn't really been anyone ever who's asked for these to be featured on the channel. Um, Yin Transformation is great, but there's, there's lots of ones that are quite nice from this collection. But none of them sparked that instant joy for me. Yep. Went back to Abercrombie for the first time since last time. They are sold out of woods completely. No more woods at Abercrombie. Sold out. Fragrance of the day is Dior Homme Sport 2021. Luke, what you wearing? I'm wearing the original Gucci Guilty, baby. Oh, the toilet. What do you buy? Hey Luke, what have you been wearing lately? So lately, I've actually been wearing the original wine EDT. For some reason, I'm finding myself liking that fresher shower gel, like aqua de geo type of fragrance again. I didn't wear geo for years and I like, didn't like that DNA, but now it's it's kind of coming back to me. So, why EDT? Well, also, it was your dad's fragrance. That's why you didn't wear it either. It was, it was. But... Geo worn by all the dads. I know, but that's it. <laughs> Today is Sunday in Los Angeles. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. It's St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing green Irish tweed because I'm wearing green. Beautiful spring day. Like it's perfect outside. It is like five, almost 5.30 p.m. and mid 70s, feeling great. Sun's out, blue skies. So green Irish tweed on St. Patrick's Day. So this week I got to go to two different malls, checked out a bunch of different things. None of them really had any new stuff. So I just kind of explored some of the stuff I've experienced before, but wanted to re-experience. 
and that was fun. Um, I tried some new layering combinations. As you guys see, the layering with YSL Y Elixir didn't work with either of those two layers because it just overpowered both versions of light blue. Um, my favorite fragrance that I wore this week, though, um, honestly, I'm going to go with, I enjoyed wearing green Irish tweed today. It's St. Patrick's Day, and I had a good time wearing green Irish tweed. So let me know in the comments what you guys have been wearing this week uh, and all that jazz. Interact so we can keep doing these, these vlogs if you guys like the vlogs. But yeah, have a great day.